Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Gary. And I'm Steve, and today we are going to talk about your power button. Now I know most people look at their computer's power button and say, gee, that's for turning my computer on, because you shut down through the Windows uh, menu itself there. But did you know there's a lot of things you can actually do with that power button once Windows is running? You can actually assign it four different functions. You can press the power button and tell the computer to shut off. You, it'll, you can tell the computer to go to sleep to hibernate or just to do nothing. And we're going to show you exactly how to do that little trick right now. Yep, the first thing we're going to do is just turn to the computer. I'll show you how to get to the power button settings and uh, then afterwards we'll talk about some more details on the options you have. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start out here by uh, going through two different ways. So um, the first thing we're going to do is I'll show you the shortcut method to get to the power configuration. Um, through the shortcut here on Windows 7 you just go to start and then right here in the search box we're going to type in power cfg dot cpl and that obviously stands for power configuration control panel and hit enter that'll open up our power options in the control panel um, before I go into this I'll show you the other way the other way is just to go to start and go to control panel under the control panel you want to go to power options and let me find it here there it is power options and it'll bring you to the same place um, from here to get to the power button settings we're going to go to the left here and say choose what the power buttons do and it'll bring up the options um, as you can see here it has when I press the power button shut down gives you a lot of other options do nothing sleep hibernate or shut down and then when I press the sleep button do nothing sleep or hibernate comes in really handy and uh, really that's just about it okay there you go as you can see there's a bunch of different options there but before we let you go today we want to go over those in a little bit more detail now the first option shut down is going to work exactly like if you were going to hit your Windows button the little start button hit shut down that's what that's going to do now if you uh, if you chose sleep. Sleep's a little bit different and uh, sleep and hibernate kind of go together but what sleep does is it allows the computer to go into a low power state but still actually stay on. So you can come back quickly, shake the mouse, hit the enter key, something like that and the computer will come back awake quickly. It's, it's great for if you're just leaving for a few minutes or if uh, even up to maybe 20 minutes or a half hour or something you want to come back and have your computer exactly the way it was. Now hibernate's going to do the same thing except instead of storing all the information in the memory it's actually going to write it to your hard drive so you're actually going to have to reboot the computer but hibernate is really good if you have like maybe a lot of windows open and you're right in the middle of a project you want to shut down for the night but you don't want to lose all those open windows and browsers and whatnot go to hibernate the next time you turn the computer on it'll boot up and it'll restore your session it'll be just like you uh just like you hadn't left and the final option of course is to do nothing which is you know pretty self-explanatory so uh, that about wraps it up. Uh, we just wanted to thank you for stopping by and watching our video today. If you're watching from YouTube, we, uh, we encourage you to come by and see our website at www.worldstart.com. We have a great newsletter. It goes out every day. Um, you can sign up for it right there on the home page where you can get these videos. Also, if you have any questions for us, feel free to uh, take a look at www.worldstart.com. Put the address right there. Ask your question, and, uh, and we'll be happy to answer them. Have a great day.